What gets easier as you get older? In my experience. Caring less what others think of me. Granted I still care, not doing so would be unnatural. But compared to high school me my self esteem is very high. Edit. Thank you for the gold. It's my first one. I remember in high school my friend and I used to joke around with my friend's dad about having stock rims on his car. Like we honestly thought stock rims looked so ridiculous that it warranted having a laugh at his expense. I remember my friend's dad with a genuinely amused smirk as if to say you guys think I give a flying fck about what rims you think my car should have? Dot. I didn't really get it back then. But I 100% understand it now. Cutting ties with toxic people. And that's growth. Telling people to fck off. This is so true. Back when I was younger in my early 20s and such I was a very shy and timid person. A complete pushover. If someone borrowed money and never paid it back then I was always afraid to approach them. Basically I was a huge pussy. Now that is absolutely not the case. I'm not an outright DCK, I don't think, but I have no reservation when I need to approach people or tell them off when they are being dicks. Or raising hell when I need to do such. The funny thing is that I don't know exactly when I adopted this attitude. There was never a day where I was like alright. I give zero fucks now. It slowly happened over time. Groaning. It doesn't even really hurt to get up. But the older I get the more I like groaning about it. It's the dad noise. You bend to pick something up, you give a little grunt. Get out of the chair, you give a little grunt. I think it's hardwired into our DNA. Making decisions as you get a lot of experience by doing mistakes in your early life. Wisdom but no one younger than yourself will heed your advice. Even if they ask for it. Gaining weight. Shit I was planning on losing weight when I'm older. Dying. It's more of a bimodal thing though. It's easy to die when you're really young. Then it becomes harder. Then it starts to get easier again as you become elderly. It becomes more desirable to be at home alone. Enjoying your dogs or cats company and reading a good book. Getting confident in sexual matters. Both talking to potential partners and expressing what gratifies you sexually with current ones. I seem to recall great stress in deciding when it was okay to kiss my girlfriend. Or how to ask if she wanted sex. It was a painful clusterfuck of dumb hints and slow moves. After 8 years of marriage. There is zero thought and just going for it. Letting things go. When I was in my teens and early 20s. I would die on every single hill. I'm only in my 30s. But still I look back at myself and wonder how I ever had the energy to be so pedantic and argumentative. I like how you put that die on the hill. Dang. I used to do that too. I thought I was smarter than everyone and when I was challenged. I would fight to the very end. Then I met someone exactly like me but more practiced in manipulations. Playing the victim. And overall nastiness. Then I had my aha moment in my early 30s. Shut up. Do the job. And chill. I don't go home with obsessive thoughts and anger in my heart anymore. Believe it or not. Interview experience. I notice my confidence in delivery has become better during my conversations. I've also noticed my resume is sharper and has more to showcase. It took me until my mid 30s to realize. This is just as much an interview for me as it is for the business. Tell me why I should work here and for how much. Because I know my worth. It becomes easier to walk in your own truth and not give a fck about what anyone thinks. Coping with depressive episodes. Grieving for people. Breakups and growing apart. Just putting it out there for anyone who might be experiencing their first heartache over something similar. I second this. At some point you learn that it's a phase that you have to go through. And that afterwards it will be better less painful. Give yourself the time to go through it. And have faith that you will come out at the other end. Getting a girlfriend. Really after 30 women start to find functional guys attractive. You have a flat? A stable job? A scientific degree? All these become selling points. 
The things the cool dudes in high school did. Like drinking. Smoking. Picking fights. Doing dead end jobs. Etc. Suddenly will be seen as a mature. This is my only hope. But I'm not holding my breath. Post alcohol hangover avoidance game. Now that I am in my 30s. And wiser. Whenever I drink. However drunk I am. I religiously drink 2 liters of water before bed and wake up with a mild hangover or fresh as a daisy. Doesn't everyone? Just me? Okay then. Haha <laughs> I pregame with electrolytes I like I'll drink a coconut water before I even go out. Then have another when I get home. Coconut water has saved my life so many times. I'm 37. Staying grounded. When you're young everything sends you on an emotional loop. You get quite good at a sport. Suddenly you have dreams of going pro. You meet a moss. Suddenly they are all you can think about and you don't want to live without them in your life. You get convinced of a political view and suddenly it is your mission to aggressively spread it to everyone and anyone who disagrees is the literal devil. When you get older you have seen enough to put everything more in perspective. You know how much difference there is between being good at something and being the best at something. You know that love interests. And people in general. Come and go throughout your life. You have seen enough of the political spectrum play out in your lifetime that you know that most of the extreme ideas won't work and why. Which isn't to say this is better. A lot of us elder folk look back fondly at that magical time age 16-22 where it felt like anything was possible. Both in our own personal spheres and in the wider world. Understanding my parents and why they did the things they did when they raised me. When you're a kid growing up you sometimes think that you know best and know more than what they do. But as if gotten older I understand why they did some of the things they did. I don't agree with everything and sometimes they were wrong. But now I get why they went that route or made those decisions especially after having adult conversations with them and hearing their explanations as to why they did those things. My father and I always used to fight all the time and did not have a good relationship at all. But now as I've grown up and experienced the things I have along with conversing with him we have an amazing relationship. Making dad s jokes. Walking naked in your own house. Finding grey hairs. Sleeping. I've never had much trouble in falling asleep. But now if I lie down in a time after 6. 0 p.m. Chances are exceedingly high that I'll fall asleep. Whether I wanted to or not. For me personally. Taking care of my health over work. I used to go to work no matter what. I went 17 years having never had a day off sick. Even though in that time I had some terrible illnesses. But I was worried about looking weak. Now. If I need time off due to health. I damn well take it. Me and my family come well before my work. Carrying my teddy bear in public. She helps with my PTSD. And I'm so far past the point of giving fucks at the weird looks. Usually other people don't even care. Anyway. You should do whatever you have to to feel better. And if a bear helps me go to the grocery store or have a social life then that's awesome. Life in general for the fortunate ones. Less concern for fashion and following the crowd. Not having to have the last word or respond to people with whom you disagree with. Anxieties of youth. Self-doubt all disappear with age. Usually in your 40s. Unless of course you reject getting old. And cling to your lost youth. Then you'll become bitter, i.e. failed midlife crisis. Appreciating people. When you get older. You drop the selfishness and value people more for who they are instead of for what you can get out of them. At least that happened for me. Hurting yourself both mentally and physically. I disagree with the mental part. My dark ages were my early 20s. Now I can walk away from situations. Which completely broke me down in my 20s. Caring less is a very good benefit of getting older. It becomes easy to forgive people as maturity comes. Once I hit mid 30s I found that forgiveness was not something I was doing necessarily for other people. But for myself. Renting a car if you decide fly somewhere. Also getting cheap car insurance. 
Being on time. Older I get the more I will not be late. Makes you feel stupider and stupider. Letting things slide. I used to get upset about the dumbest shit. Now I'll let a lot more stuff go. Makes you happier. Anger can be addictive. Sobriety. You don't feel that everything goes better with alcohol. About 6 months afterwards. You suddenly realize you're no longer waking up depressed. You can't remember the last fight you had. And your skin looks great. In my personal experience. Managing your mental health symptoms. Not feeling socially awkward. Even when a situation feels a little uncomfortable. IDK. I just shrug my shoulders and say what do ya do whenever I have a less than seamless encounter with another person. Back in the day. This kind of stuff would have haunted me. Ironically. The only memories that make me cringe are the ones that happened to me in high school and my early 20s. Waiting. An hour used to feel like an eternity. Now it feels like a sneeze. Probably to do with smartphones being around now also though. No more staring at a wall for an hour at the DMV. Now I can stare into my phone at the DMV and will be annoyed when they call my number. Running. Oddly. It was a huge deal to run 6 miles when I was 20. Now I'm 42 and I might run 6 miles and forget I did it earlier that day. I think the only thing that gets easier is how becomes easy to know humans roles in our lives. I can easily understand their mentalities and moral issues and identify how they can exist in my life. Saying no. Not caring about others opinions of me. Loving myself. Being vulnerable. There's lots of stuff. Getting taken seriously. Even a few years make a huge difference. In some of my college courses. I am the youngest student. When I say something constructive to the discussion. I get waved off. When someone else who spent 3 years relaxing and slacking off gives an answer that doesn't even fit the theme. They get unearned attention that could have gone to younger peers who are actually constructively participating. Nothing. Nothing gets easier because your body is slowly withering until you die. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you and themselves. High school. For the 4 years you're there. Each one just seems to get easier and easier. Freshman year I had 7 classes. And my lunch was split with a study hall. By junior year I only had 4 classes and a full lunch with no study halls. It's like living a dream. I have noticed that it's easier for me to realize the failure that my life is. Clarity. Now regroup and get out there and try another way. If you've got the means and time to post on reddit. And good grammar. But I'll ignore the punctuation. You're not doing so bad. I've found that the older I get. The more zen I become. In my 20s every little thing would get my panties in a wad. These days as I have entered my late 30s. I don't sweat the small things. Honestly video games. When I was a kid sometimes I can't figure out t but when I came back to these games. It turns out my vocabulary was poor. I think public speaking. I couldn't do it before. But as time goes by. It's easier since I'm less focused on what people think and more on improving my own skill set. Saying no. No longer feeling a need to please people makes it so much easier to care for and about myself. Telling people no for any reason doesn't even involve anxiety or anything of the sort anymore. I wanted to say being alone but that seems to be a bit of a negative phrasing. So instead let's go with doing things by yourself. You get a better sense of what you want and what you feel has importance and you make more time to do them without needing other people's input. Admitting what I like. Probably not a huge deal but I love cartoons and animation far more than most live action movies and series. A high school me would never admit how much I love Pokemon. Sailor Moon and Bugs Bunny. But now I have access to Paprika. Gravity Falls and Avatar. Realizing what friendships relationships are worth keeping. Being grumpy. Not caring what other people think. To get pussy. When I was young it was so hard to get some. Even though I'm on the good looking side of the spectrum. 
Now I'm on my 30s. Looking kinda chubby and it's so easy. Never give up. Bro. Once you get the hang of it they're all yours. Knowing your physical limits. I used to think oh yeah I can do that and now yeah. That seems like an expensive medical bill waiting to happen. In my experience. Becoming more independent. Technically under the law until I was 18. I could not do much and I didn't have a car or much money. Today. Things are still hard but now I have more control over the choices in my life rather than someone else making it for me. And I'm happy with my choices. Feeling confident with my own body and not looking at the lil roll that's formed in my belly when I sit. I'm not so hard on myself anymore. My teens were hard.